My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Welcome back to the Mafia walkthrough. Let's go ahead and put our new clothes on, man. This, this these last couple episodes have been fun as as hell. Uh, um, trust me. But we sleep in the Marty's house, man. Marty got cleaned up. Marty did. Marty Dome. Oh damn. Answer the phone. That shit rhymed. Hey Vito, it's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. How you gonna tell me I ain't allowed a gun in my own house? That's bullcrap. Bruh, what are you doing? You doing something back here you ain't got no business? I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be... Why, why, why is there all these red triangles? Yeah, I straight missed them like with like four shots first. Where's goddamn the dead eye when you need it, you know? Alright. Going just around the corner. When is Vito gonna get a girlfriend or something, man? Hey, dude. You don't be getting no ass, bruh. None. And your mom, his mom passed away when he was in jail. Your sister said don't come around no more. You know what I'm saying? Shit got real. We drive on the sidewalk in the hood. You run over every motherfucker on the block. Get out the way. Oh shit. Well, thank you, truck. That truck came through. Oh man. God damn it! What the hell's going on? This shit driver crooked as hell. Get out the way. Alright, we're gonna go around because we won it by the cops. Oh man, I need to uh get these place changed. I ran over so many people, it doesn't even matter now no more. Hold on, where's it at? Right, let's go. Let's go over there. Let's just check our car into this little spot over here real quick. Hey, sometimes you gotta run over innocent people. Or hey, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, hell no, I'm not paying for no. Ain't the perhaps like five hundred bucks? We ain't got five hundred bucks to spare right now, like. Oh man, am I going the total wrong way? Man, uh, yep. Oh, oh. Let's go ahead and repair this. Change plates. I think, I think that removes your own. Your one and level. I think I could be wrong as heck. Though. I don't know. Straight, we, we straight up wasting time right now too. My bad. My bad. Get out the way, bitch! Good afternoon, Vito. She's just walking over there. She thought she was gonna have a I'm good day. Need, sir. No license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Bruh. Oh. I'm G Nod, yo. Give a couple of and I don't feel like changing all of that. Thanks a lot, bro. Nah, we're not gonna repair the, the business. Car. We're not repairing it. You know what? We maybe should have repaired that thing. This thing is, is kind of screwed up. You know what? Bump it. We out here. Get out the way. Let's make our way over to the uh, to the destination. Oh. Damn, bro. Man, this, this sugar from these grapes got me all messed up in the game. 
I swear to goodness, I'm missing turns. I'm, I'm crashing in the, in the uh, poles. Let me have a sip of this water, man. Look at this joint. <clears throat> right, we got them right up here. Let's see what Henry's talking about. This better not mean no freaking setup. I know that much. Hey, here he comes. Hey, what's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen, I've been doing some research at the Carlos business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope too, and he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Of course, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcone? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. <whistles> nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid, over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35 if we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution, so we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. Twenty fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito. It'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you run us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. Drug game, see? This is when shit goes down, buddy. When you start messing with them drugs, son. I wouldn't recommend doing it, Vito, but if that's what you want to do. This ain't, we ain't got enough for four people. Now, now we got to steal a car. Now, this one sitting right down here. We're going to take that one. I'm going to smash the windows. They don't know is it's people of all all kinds of, of backgrounds will goddamn smoke smoke crack snip this coat man why are none of these fit for people oh, somebody getting pulled over over here what happened damn Oh, you're going to jail tonight. What you do, son? Who taught you to drive? Put your hands up. Get them up. Oh, you going to jail? Get on your knees, sucker. The cops got your ass. All right. I'll get out of here before I change my mind. Hey! They just bribed him. That's how y'all do business, officer. Dirty game, man. Dirty game. You gonna tell me? Let's wait for him. Wait, 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 wait. What? I 
get in. Hurry up, hurry up. Get in, get in. Get in. Dude right there wasn't even looking. I love, like, the oh, random gonna see him. acts of He's craziness that happen in game. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us? Then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Hammer, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? No oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. This is gonna backfire. This whole plan. This is, this is what happens every time. They, they said no drugs, boy. They said it. And we gonna get caught doing what we doing. I can already feel the drama. I can taste that shit. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand and 20 dollar bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money? Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by 10000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. That, that, that didn't go like we planned. You just gonna stand there? You told us! 35! And then you said if we give him 45 and you win, then you said you're going to give him 55! Okay? Now I didn't want to do this, but you left me no 